Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. In this video, we're diving into how to create a powerful audience signal in your Performance Max campaign for your e-commerce store. Each asset group in a Performance Max campaign requires an audience signal. It's essentially Google's first step in identifying your ideal shoppers. This step is crucial. It sets you up from success from the start. I'll walk you through all the options you have for setting it up. That way you can target the best audience for your Performance Max campaigns. The first is first party data. The section for it is labeled your data in the Performance Max asset group setup. This is the most important information you can put into your audience signal. First party means information such as the email, email address, and physical address of people that have interacted with your business and consented to marketing. One of the best ways this is used with Performance Max is a customer match list. If you don't know what this is, I'll leave a link down below to a video where I walk you through exactly how to create one. A customer match list is valuable because Google uses it to advertise your products to a similar audience. This is the most essential part of an audience signal. The next options for you to add are in-market and affinity segments. You add these in the interests and detailed demographics section. In-market refers to people that are planning or looking into purchasing a product in a specific category. For example, if you sell baseball mitts, a relevant audience would be in market for baseball equipment. An affinity audience is when Google thinks a user has an affinity for something. A fitting audience for this baseball mitt example would be affinity for baseball. In my experience, in market audiences are far more valuable in an audience signal. I suggest that you lean towards them over affinity audiences, which are much more broad. Remember, the point is to narrow Google's focus onto a particular type of shopper. Getting too broad can reduce the effectiveness of the signal that you're providing. That's why I recommend you only choose one or two audiences here. A common mistake I see people make is adding dozens of these lists. Great audience signals are kept tight and specific. Now, there are other segment types in this section that you can also add. They are detailed demographics, which covers attributes such as being single or married. And the other is life event audiences. These are people that Google believes are going through or have been through significant life events. For example, getting married, getting a new pet, or buying a new home. Now, let's talk about demographics. The system includes all demographics by default, but you can narrow down the audience signal based on age, gender, household income, parental status. Keep in mind that if you limit any of these demographics, that doesn't mean that your ads won't show to them. This is a signal of where you want Performance Max to start ad testing with an audience. That's why it's called an audience signal. It's one of the biggest ways that you can affect the performance of your Performance Max campaign for your e-commerce store. For all segments, I recommend that you regularly review and refine them in your asset groups. Guys, if you have any questions about audience signals, please leave them down below. I also wanted to let you know that this video is part of our free Performance Max course. It's completely free, shows you everything you need to set up, optimize, and scale your Performance Max campaigns to 100K and beyond. I'll leave a link to the full course and videos down below. And if you're already doing 20K a month in sales and you wanna to grow to seven figures and beyond, get in touch with my team and I. We do this for e-commerce stores of all different industries. And I'd love to talk with you about how we could do this for your store. Thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Make sure to check out our other videos. This one here might be especially useful for you.